Well, welcome back to Denver 7 Sports brought to you by Ramos Law. And we're talking women's college hoops because we have one of the best teams in the country and one of the best players in the country right here in Boulder. The CU Buffs taking on Washington today at the CU Event Center. Quay Miller had a double-double, 15 points, 11 rebounds. The Buffs won 65-43. So CU at number 25 in the country is now 20-5, and five, and they give back-to-back 20-win -back seasons for the first time in 10 years. And Quay Miller, she's one of the best centers in the country. Here's more with sports anchor Nick Rothschild. When Quay Miller transferred to Boulder two years ago, she didn't waltz in like she owned the place. She gave the team what they needed from her, and she won sixth person of the year in the Pac-12 because of it. Now, that team first mentality remains, but Miller, now a senior, is being a little more assertive. And the Lioness of Boulder has these Buffaloes roaming towards the NCAA tournament. Here you go. Talk to her, Tay. Quay Miller? <laughs> Quay's funny. Miller's game can be adequately summed up with a meme. She's got that dog in her. I think I just want to change it to lion mentality now. On the court, she's brash and bold. But heading into the season, J.R. Payne needed Miller to work on her roar. First month of practice, we went to Quay and said, we need something you know, from you. And she, okay, what do you need? And we said, our gym is too quiet right now. We need a voice. We're missing the loud voices. I'm in the corner, Jack. It wasn't microwave leadership for Miller. It took time to find her voice. But when she did, the style matched her personality. You make people understand that it's coming from a place of love and not just being like, me having a mentality that I'm better than you guys. Um, I was in their shoes, I'm in their shoes, and we're all in this together. Quay's just like got a bubbly personality to her. Um, she's always laughing, joking, smiling. Her leadership is flourishing, along with her play. Oh, I'm on that list? Oh, that's what's up. She was named a top 10 finalist for the Lisa Leslie Award, given to college basketball's best female center. It helps with my confidence. Um, I really try not to pay too much attention to all of it, just because I don't want it to affect me in any way. Um, so I just try to stay focused on what's in front of me. I'm in the corner, Jay. Even with all eyes on her, Miller prefers to focus on what the Buffs can accomplish as a group. I think it's easy to get caught up um, when everyone's talking about I'm on this list or I'm this player and I can do this and I can do that. So when I don't live up to those expectations, then it's just like it can it can mess with your mind. Confidence can be such a fragile concept. But what makes this team so special is that their confidence is experienced communally, not alone. I'm definitely confident because I surround myself with people who I pour into who also pour into me. So I think that with that, it's no, it's never like, oh, I'm not good enough. It's just like, I need to be consistent in what I do so I can be a great player. Miller is the talisman for this CU group, proving they can hang with anybody come tournament time. I think she embodies everything that we value, toughness, hard work, discipline, focus, um, being a great teammate, supporting each other. Um, she, she epitomizes all of those things. She's a great person and I'm glad to be her teammate. Nick Rothschild, Denver 7 Sports.